Hey guys, this is Kato, and today I shall be showing you how to install Forge for 1.5.2 Minecraft um, in the launcher of Minecraft 1.6. Now here, you will go to Run, percent eight app data percent. Go to your .minecraft folder and go to Versions. Now, once you get the versions, you'll see there's only a folder with 1.6.2. Which is, well, Minecraft 1.6.2, and of course, Forge for 1.5.2 is obviously not compatible with 1.6.2. Now, what we're going to do to fix that is we will go to the Minecraft launcher. Wait till that gets all started up. Okay, now under Profile Selection, you will go to New Profile. Next, you will change your profile name to, I don't know, 1.5.2 and under use versions click release 1.5.2 and then save profile. Now under profile selection click the folder or the profile you just made. From there you will have to log in again and then click play. Now once that is set up and ready, you could just simply exit out of it. Now you will go back to your run and your percent app data percent. Go back to your .minecraft folder, versions. Then you will see that now there is a folder 1.5.2. And from there you shall click a new folder. Create and name it, I don't know, Forge, because we will be installing Forge. So from there, we will open up the 1.5.2 and we will copy the files that are in it and we will paste them into our new Forge folder. Now from there, we shall rename it and we will rename it to our folder name exactly the same, including caps. Okay, from there, we will open up the JSON file using Notepad. And then once you open that up, you will see ID, where it says 1.5.2, just um, rename that Forge, or whatever your folder name is. Then File and Save. Now once we're done with that, we will open the Forge jar with a WinRAR, or 7-zip. And then we will go to where it says MetaInf, and we will delete those files. Okay, now that that is done, leave this open. And then we will open our craft, our Minecraft um, Forge Universal. And then we'll select all the files and then simply drag them into the Forge jar. Okay, you will see that there is another meta in file, but we will leave that alone. Now from there we will go to Minecraft, the launcher, and open that up. Okay, and then we're going to go under Profile Selection again, and New Profile. From there we're going to name it Forge. Now under the Use version, you will go under where it says Release Forge. And then Save Profile. Profile selection, forge, and then we will log in again. Okay, now once you get this message, the hello FML is setting up all this stuff, that means you 
um, successfully downloaded Forge. As you can see, the files, Forge, Mod Loader, blah blah blah, this stuff. Now that will take a while to actually get situated. And this is my first video, so if this is really bad and messed up, I'm sorry, I apologize, I've never done this before. Okay, let's see, once that is all set and done, let's just exit out of this one back here. Okay, you will see that it has three mods loaded, three mods active, Minecraft Forge, FML MCP Minecraft mods, and here is all the things you needed and wanted. Okay. So now let's download an app or an app. <laughs> let's download a mod, shall we? Okay, here I have the Mo Creatures by Dr. Zark. You can simply go online. Um, where is it? Let's see. And you could just, I don't know, go to download, and then download these three, these three files that are needed, the Mo Creatures itself, the GUI API, also what I call Guapo, I don't know why, but it just looks like Guapo in a way, and then the custom mob spawner. Once you get those downloaded, as I already have, you go to your run percent app data percent dot minecraft now here you'll see now that you have forged there are these new files such as core mods and lib I don't know what lib is and now instead of resource packs it's now texture packs too okay so from here you will open your core mods there should be nothing there and then from there you will drag your GUIPI um, zip into that okay, and once you are done there you will go to your mods folder and then just simply drag both of these into there now from there everything should be set and done and these mods should be installed so we'll go back to the Minecraft launcher. Okay, and then forge. Play. Okay, now you should see six mod loaded, six mods active, and you can see where it has the GOIPI, the Dark Zarks custom spawner, and Dark Zarks Mo Creatures mod, meaning you have successfully installed these mods. Now let's just take a look see. Um, create your world.
Okay, so... Let's see... Why is it like this? Okay, oh lord, I forgot to put super flat. Yikes! Well, you can see our first random animal. Holy crud, it's so laggy! Derp, I don't have my charger plugged in. Okay. There we go. Mm, that should help eventually. Anyways, we will see that we have more creatures miscellaneous. Then you have all these random little items. How cute. Oops. And well, you catch my drift, because I am just lagging pretty badly that you installed the mods correctly. And where are the eggs? Oh, there they are. There's all the eggs for your new animals. Woo. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like I said, this is my first video, so sorry if it was bad. Oops, didn't mean to spawn you there. Um, if you like this and it was very helpful, um, please subscribe and p click the like button. I would appreciate it so much. Thanks, guys. Oh, and if you have any questions, please just comment and I will try to help you as much as I can. Um, thanks again!